Inocente, I'm on the wind, says so you gotcha who on beef. Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies. I put them on a leash with my OG, smoking OG. Yeah. Warning. The following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. Thank you for joining today for another delightful day of cheese man. And to the new cheese mosos that clicked on the video, make sure to subscribe. We're really close to 160,000 subscribers. I know you think your subscription doesn't do nothing, but in reality, it does something. And I bring you the most best and efficient cheese man, baby. But aside from that, Let's go ahead and get started with this week's Freak of the Week, and it goes to... Oye, Panchito, como que estás más cachetoncito. <laughs> now, the first thing we're actually going to get into, did you guys see Landon McBroom finally responded to Shyla LaBeouf, also known as Shyla Walker, the Walker's Walk, and it appears that he finally said something rather than nothing because he was kind of biting his tongue. So he had made this video basically responding to Shyla and everything. He didn't respond to the cucumber allegation, kind of, you know what I'm saying? But he did respond to a couple of other things, and he had this to say, Mike. Gun charges, it was said that I have illegal guns. You know, I've done stuff with illegal guns and blah, blah, blah. That's false. That's extremely false. The gun charges was basically just saying that I have illegal guns in the house. I've dealt with illegal guns. I've done all this illegal stuff. Have illegal, uh, done all this illegal activity. Extremely false. Never have I done anything with illegal guns. Another thing I want to talk about is soul's privacy slash using for clout because the mother keeps talking about using her child, which is my child as well, for clout, which is just, I just don't understand. And it's frustrating because we've had a family YouTube channel over three years. Um, we posted our daughter every single day since she's been born. And the mother also created an Instagram for our child that she ran solely by herself. This experience that I'm going through right now is by far worse than my cancer experience. I realized a lot during that experience, a lot of harsh things were said, a lot of insensitivity, um, just things that you can never go back on happened. And that's part of the reason why we're here today. That's all I'm gonna say about that. And when I seen this, I said, now it appears that he basically responded to all these allegations that was going on but apparently they're saying that the main reason is because of money something went wrong along the lines of money maybe greed maybe clout we're not too quite sure what the case is but some people are saying they really do want to hear from a shyla's response and if you guys didn't see landon also posted this on his instagram mike We can plan out our lives and be a thousand percent sure it's going to be according to our plan and sometimes it still doesn't maybe everything won't turn out the way we think it will but it will turn out like god intended it to at forever diamond shine thank you so much for your friendship your hard work on this beautiful piece deserves to be shared regardless <laughs> He was gonna marry her? I said, and I said, marry her? So basically, he posted this because he wanted to reveal that he was actually gonna ask a Shyla to be, you know, the wife. But the mom of Shyla actually responded and she said, wait, 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 what? Broke my smell. Broke boy alert. Broke, 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 broke boy alert. Because she said that actually, in, in all reality, Shyla paid for that. I'm sorry about that, Landon. You know you didn't pay for this. Please stop trying to lie for clout. Please, enough is enough. Shyla paid for this ring with her money she earned. You're only posting this since it was part of the agreement once you proposed and you don't want to own them in the future for not holding up to your agreement. Maybe making it seem like you did all this when she paid for it. Hide the money, y'all. There's poor people around. <laughs> How can you flex a ring you did not pay for? That's flyboy activity. They're saying that it was some sort of contract that he had opposed it. I'm not too quite sure what that was going on. But the dad also responded, the walker walks a big felly. And he had this to say, Mike. 
wanna be step mommy and he's referring to joe right here why don't you guys stop burning both ends of the candle all of you are ac dc when it's convenient you would do anything for somebody to take care of you considering yourself blessed that my son didn't take you off because he should have i put your bed together that shyla bought you and best believe you were my stuff i see it and i hear it all mention my family again and i will personally expose you skeletos you guys better not hope my daughter's not give me the green light to put it out there Now, we do know that the dad has a tendency to always respond, but uh, he said he's going to reveal some truths if Shyla gives him the you're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> but aside from that, uh, Mr. Joey, the uncle, 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 Joey, uncle, Joey, he actually responded with this whole uh, paragraph essay in MLA format. I'm not too quite sure who he was writing it to, Mike. Okay, I am not about to read all this, boo, but you can go ahead and pause the video if you guys want to go ahead and read that. Pretty sure that. Zooming. Sorry about that. I didn't even read it. I saw this whole thing. Uh, in my opinion, after hearing all this boo-boo, I really do think uh, Joe was maybe in the innocent. He just wanted to, you know, do what's best for the kid. But I'm not going to read all of that boo-boo. If you guys wanted to pause it, you can read that boo-boo. I do think he is innocent. The Uncle Joey, if you guys did want to read the essay, go on ahead. Oh, I'll just get the summary from you. You ain't going to get no summary from nothing. I ain't gonna read all that boo boo. Did you guys see that? Bramsey see that she actually got called out on Twitter because she was calling out people for, I guess, uh, the vaccine, et cetera, et cetera. Kind of seems like it was kind of making it seem like she was like anti vaccine. And this happened. Mike. So this girl was talking about FDA approved, yada, yada, yada. And then she said, well, you know, something that's FDA approved can be recalled, right? If you go to blah, 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 blah. And then she got called out by here for the T. And then she responded, I know you're not talking to jobs and a face full of Botox and a filler. Shut up and added her sheesh. And then she responded to back your tweet up, send me links. And then afterwards, let me know how dumb you feel. And let me see what you look like over here tweeting without a face. Sheesh. And that's here for the T too. But basically, they were calling her out and they're saying, wait, 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 wait. Don't you, you know, feed your kid Chick-fil-A? Now, I can't vouch for that because I don't watch her that much to know what she feeds. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to get involved in none of that boo-boo. But they called her out because she expressed her opinion. You know, I did get the shot, by the way, and I'm still alive. I'm not looking like a zombie yet. Uh, so I will update you guys in maybe a year or so if something went wrong with me. So just letting you know, if you guys were wondering if Panchito got the... <clears throat> I got my two. Bang, bang, bang. For the world news, did you guys see they're going to send this like sunflower like object in the space? <laughs> This is basically going to reveal what's going on in the universe a little bit more. It's going to, you know, reach larger area. And they've been working on this for a while. We're going to get to the bottom line of aliens. If there is aliens, I did find this kind of interesting because this is going to be able to capture a lot of pictures where people are actually wondering if there's actually more in space. Aside from that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to take a second and pause the video right now. Uh, hit me with the Cinema Finema subscription and I'll hit you with the Cinema Finema thank you. Uh, thank you, my Habibis, for uh, watching the channel and have a great day day mira te voy a decir algo pero manténme el secreto me entiendes al paso al paso tú sabes que yo no no hago cosas malas mira ahora mismo por aquí no hay nadie está bien sí. ¿Me entiendes eh, dale tú adelante yo voy a acechar que no venga nadie coge esa esa becerrito ahí tú estás loco coño no me hagas cosas coño Dios mío que yo salí contigo dale esa vaquita no que, que tú tienes mucho que no hace nada coño pero cacho